Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to dress up your Google Forms. You're probably familiar with the purple color scheme that's been the default for Google Forms for several years now. Um, if you click on this little artist palette where it says customize theme, you'll get some new theme options. These were updated in June of 2018, so there might be some new options here that you haven't seen before. Of course, you can pick several different uh, pre-selected theme colors. Here's a new feature. When you select a theme color, there are three or four background color options that you can pick from that automatically coordinate with that theme color. If there's a more specific color you'd like to choose, you can pick pretty much any color of the rainbow, either by selecting using these buttons, or if you have a very specific hex code for a, a web-based color, you can just enter that hex code here and uh, use that color and look, it'll automatically give you some coordinating background colors. You can also choose a background image to use as a header, and they have several uh, images that they've already created for you. And some of these images, if you look very carefully, they are animated. So I'm gonna click one of these animated images, and they're usually kind of subtle, but that gives a little extra pizzazz to uh, one of your forms or a quiz. Um, you can also upload your own photo. Drag that over there. You have um, maybe a banner that you would like to use that you've downloaded, so you can just drag and drop it from your uh, desktop like that. And after it uploads, Google will crop this photograph uh, to a shape that roughly matches the size and shape dimensions for the Google form, but you have to crop carefully because if you look at what's going to happen, it's going to crop the photo a little bit further in than what I selected. And also this, uh, the form itself has a little bit of white space that's going to cover the bottom center of that photo. So you'll have to be careful. Um, for example, let me show you an example of a bad photo to use. If you think, uh, like I had a photo, I tried to put this on a Google form recently, and it's a picture of uh, me and my two partners. And if I select that area, Google Forms is going to crop that photo a little differently than what I indicated. And you see some of our faces are going to be a little bit cut off, which is not too nice. Um, so in general, it's probably best to either use one of their banners or use a photo that's a little bit more of just a generic texture. Um, or if you have, some, if you really want to use a specific photo, then maybe you have to do some trial and error and maybe resize your image. You also have uh, a new selection of font styles for Google Forms. Uh, up until now, there's only been the same basic form uh, font. And there's three other choices now. You can make something a little more elegant that looks like cursive, or there's a kind of a fancy formal font, or here's something a little more playful. So um, again, you only have four choices, but that's more than the one that we had before. So I hope you enjoy this uh, intro into how to customize your Google Forms. If you have any questions, contact your ed tech specialist.